From the beginning, Africa Journal was intended to provide a different view of this continent. To Africans and the world. This week on Africa Journal, Zambia's veteran politician Kenneth Kaunda. Having covered decades of war, famine, corruption and disease, Mohamed Amin wanted to show Africa in its entirety. The compassion, the innovation, the spirit and the beauty that Africa contains. Patrick Mwiruri was one of Mohamed Amin's colleagues on the front line. He was with Mo when Africa Journal was founded. When Mohamed came up with the idea, um, we did not have anything that was set. All he said to me was every week, get into the library and pick out footage, put together a 20 minute piece, stick it on DHL and send it to uh, Ethiopian TV, who are the very first clients. So the next crucial thing, in fact... So in Africa Journal, he created a vehicle that would bring out positive stories directly to TV stations. The show, initially meant to go out to African broadcasters, is now also seen on television in Europe, Asia and the United States of America. Its impact on African viewers was immediate. Somebody would come to you and say, wow, I saw you have this from West Africa, but I'm in a small village in Eritrea or I'm in a small village in, 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 in Sudan. And we, have, we are trying to do the following, one, two, three, four, and we think it would be great for you to, show, to put it on your show. And most of the time, we actually did go and visit what these people had suggested and do the stories. That former president, Nelson Mandela... Veteran journalist Jeff Koinange was wooed back from New York by Africa Journal's promise. And Jeff Koinange of CNN. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. He remembers the show giving him the opportunity to rediscover Liberia. Coming back and working for Africa Journal, I'd always wanted to go back to Liberia. That was like one of my favorite countries. It was like I left a part of me in Liberia. So every time I got a ch there was a story coming out of Liberia, my hand would be up and I'd say, I'm going. He developed an antagonistic relationship with warlord turned president Charles Taylor that has lasted to this day. But with the Africa Journal program, he also had a chance to shine a different light on Liberia. Away from the whole political part of it, it was Liberia the country, Africa's oldest republic, established in 1847. Never went through colonialism. It was one African leader after another. It was incredible, incredible history uh, that they went through. And plus the violence and then now the rebuilding. You could see that this country had so much hope, so much potential. Through the years, Africa Journal has told literally thousands of these stories. Theater, at least in this part of Africa, is more often than not a labor of love, the product of dedicated and committed amateur actors. Many are turning to a different medium with different challenges, metal. One of the first masters of metal was Adam Madebe. I wanted to do something different, something new to the, to the market. The best folks in Africa are the, the ordinary people, ordinary people who you highlight. You know, you pick a story, a guy who makes uh, uh, paper aeroplanes or who makes aeroplanes out of uh, recycled tires, and he's just selling them on the streets. This is his life. The forest itself faces an environmental threat from local people who come here to gather firewood. I'm happy to come here and try and clean up this place. And uh, I hope people don't come up here and litter anymore. While Mohammed Amin saw the show become a success, he left this world before he could see its full impact on the Africa he loved. My father was very... I think very pleased with Africa Journal. Um, it was his dream come true to have a show of this quality that would come out of the continent, that would prove that, that Africans could actually produce 
a show of, of, of international standard at a time when very little was coming out of the continent. Since those early years, the continent has provided a wealth of stories for Africa Journal, which will get a more complete airing in a future show. In the meantime, Africa Journal continues to report the stories that present a full picture of this dynamic land.